Hello, Mr. Andy here. Uh, this is our second part video in our series on getting AutoCAD set up at home to look the way that it does here at the college. Again, this is for AutoCAD 2015, although what we're going to do would work for earlier versions too. Um, I have uh, put up template files and title block and borders on our server so that you can access them and download them at home. So we're going to walk through the process of pulling those down, setting up a folder, and configuring AutoCAD uh, to use those files. First thing I want to do is get a folder created that we can use for all that information. So I'm going to open up File Explorer here. Now I'm going to just go to my hard drive. For most of you, that would be your C drive. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to name it uh, AutoCAD. Uh, you can call it support or data. I'm just going to call it data. And <clears throat> that, that folder is where we're going to place everything that we download. I'm going to click on my browser and uh, I'm going to navigate to the academic website for the CAD program. So uh, we're going to go to uh, staff.kellogg.edu slash CAD. And I'm going to hit enter. And that'll take us to the CAD blog. This is a site that I maintain and we can post job openings and things you might need to know or maybe uh, cool articles related to the CAD. Um, I've put all the templates up on this site so if you go to the downloads button um, you'll notice that the AutoCAD templates and title blocks are here along with the SolidWorks. Um, there'll be some more files showing up here a little later, maybe saving out keystrokes for SolidWorks or AutoCAD and that kind of some customization files. But I'm going to download the template file, so I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. Um, if, if at home it automatically saves it into the download folder, you're going to have to move that file to your AutoCAD data folder. Um, I have my browser set up to ask me where to save. Uh, so you may have to move that file. Uh, it'll be in your downloads folder right there and you need to put it in your data folder. So I'm going to select C drive AutoCAD data and I'm going to tell it to save that compressed folder. And I'm going to do the same for the title blocks and borders. And again we're going to go to the AutoCAD data file folder uh, which is where we are and we'll save that also. Alright, I'm done with Explorer now and let's go back to our folder and let's double click on that AutoCAD data folder and we can see now that we have uh, our borders and our templates in a zip file. Well I need to extract them so I'm going to extract my templates first. I'm going to right click extract all and what I think you should do here is just take off that part of the path so that it just says C colon AutoCAD data as your location or whatever you named that folder and I'm going to say go ahead and extract all those and here are the templates that we use at KCC our inch metric and architectural now I'm going to do the same with the borders our title block and border files I'm going to extract all once again I'm going to wipe out the extension there or the additional path and just save them into the data folder and we'll hit extract and here are all the title blocks and borders. Well, I don't need these zip files anymore, so I'm going to delete them, these compressed files, and just leave all of these files here. All right, we're done with this folder now. I think I'm going to, I'll just minimize it. And let's now launch AutoCAD. So here we are in our AutoCAD window, and if you watch video one, you've cleaned up the window and gotten rid of all those crazy menus and things that show up. And now uh, we need to instruct AutoCAD to go to this new location to look for templates. Um, and we're going to make a couple other settings changes while we're in there. So I'm going to just right click in space and I'm going to click on options. And we want to go to the files tab and that's usually the, def the default tab that comes up. 
and this is where you can tell AutoCAD where all the files for AutoCAD are, where the, where the pointers are to the files um, if you wanted to really get into customizing AutoCAD. Uh, however, we're just going to look at a couple things here. First thing I want to change is the automatic save file location. <coughs> and I'm going to just change this to that AutoCAD data file just so when AutoCAD does auto saves every five minutes or ten minutes, however you have it set, it puts them in whatever location you have identified here. And uh, this is kind of an odd folder if you don't know to go looking there. So I'm going to say change this to that AutoCAD data folder. So if you're working in AutoCAD uh, for an hour on a drawing, you never clicked on save and the power goes out, um, you can launch AutoCAD back up and go to this folder that you identify here. And you should have an autosave file there for that, for that project. And uh, I think you just rename it to a DWG file, and then you can open it back up in AutoCAD. Uh, so I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click on Browse. And I'm going to go to C colon, AutoCAD data, and hit OK. And now that's where your autosave files will go. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. And I'm going to click on Template Settings here. I'm going to expand that. Let's scroll that down a little bit more. And I want to tell AutoCAD where my drawing template files are. So I'm going to open that up. Again, right now, when you installed AutoCAD, it put the default templates in this location. I'm going to change that to this data folder that we created. So I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to browse. And I'm going to go to C Drive, AutoCAD Data. And I'll click OK. Now, when you do a new file in AutoCAD, it should look in that folder for the templates. Won't change any of these other things here. Um, one interesting option here, the default template name, if you do a quick new, um, if you set this to something, it will always open that file. If you leave it at none, it'll give you a dialog box so you can choose your template. So that's how we have it set up here at KCC. Um, and then finally, I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to change the temporary drawing file location again where it saves its temp files to that same folder again. So I'm going to browse to AutoCAD data and click OK. And now we're done in this dialog box. Nothing else we want to say, save, so I'm going to apply it and hit OK. Now let's put this to the test. If I click on the new tab here, I'm hoping it's going to ask me, yep, here we go. And so all you have to do now is click on templates and then choose your template. You'll notice I'm getting the KCC templates here. One other thing I want to show you, I'm going to click out, this button right here that says start a drawing. If you click on this, it's going to start a drawing with the last template you used in your brand new installation that's probably a blank template so um, this is kind of a, I'm not too crazy about this button because you don't really know what you got what unit you're in when you have that going um, so I would recommend not clicking on this to start a drawing I would always either choose a template like so now I know I'm in a metric drawing um, or close that or um, choose a template, or open an existing file. And when you're working at home, your most recent files will show up over here. At the college, because the hard drives are frozen, that will not be the case. But um, at home, you should see if you worked on assignment seven, that should be the last one you see up here, and you can just click on it to open it. So click on templates, pick the template, away you go, should be all set. So there you have it. Uh, the settings changes for uh, templates and how you get the templates down onto your computer. Uh, good luck and uh, enjoy.